What's up guys, Justin here with the Podcast Dojo. Today on Abandoned Locations, we're going to be talking about Martin's Grocery Stores. I know they aren't technically abandoned just yet, but there has been an announcement that all their stores will be closed by August. I'll provide a link in the description below for the news story. So, let's not waste any more time and get into this. So, we can't talk about Martin's without talking about Ucrops. I won't go over Ucrops' entire history, but I'll at least cover the basics. So let's go back to 1937 when Joseph Ucrop opened up his first grocery store in Richmond, Virginia. More specifically, what was the one on Hall Street Martins? That was the original Ucrops. The first store was very small, only 16 feet by 32 feet. Opening day was very successful, raking in $23. In 1937, that would be equal to $396.64 by 2017 standards. Not bad for a small grocery store on opening day. Ucrops continued to do very well. Joseph and his wife Jacqueline were very devout Baptists and implemented this into some of their store's policies. Ucrops never sold alcohol and was always closed on Sundays. Joseph never opened more stores because he wanted his family to live a simple life, and their current store was doing just fine. However, when their sons entered the business, they opened up more locations and they opened their second store 26 years later in 1963. In the 1970s, they opened a Ucrops bakery and even a place to make restaurant quality food for patrons to buy and heat up at home. In 1997, they opened up their first store outside of the Richmond area and by 2000, controlled around 38.9% of grocery sales in Richmond. So what went wrong? Well, we will start at 2009 when Ucrops sold their grocery stores to Martins for $140 million. Martins is a brand of giant grocery stores, but it's lower on the food chain than giant grocery stores. Sure, with Martins, you can now shop on Sundays and purchase alcohol. But what made Ucrops so great was that they always put the customer first. The mindset of Ucrops is that if you put the customer first, they will always come back. One thing that really set Ucrops apart from other grocery store chains is that the baggers would even take the groceries out to your car for you. But it wasn't just the downgrade in customer service, but also the competition came to town. Ucrops only had stores in Virginia, mostly around Richmond. In the last three years or so, Aldi arrived and opened up many locations. Aldi focuses on saving money. Wegmans opened up two locations and they are arguably the best grocery store chain ever. Kroger started opening up super stores, and they are working on opening up a European-based grocery store, Little, and that's going to open five locations in Richmond. So what is the state of Martins aside from closing all stores? Well, Publix is buying most of the stores, but not buying nine of the Martins locations. Ucrops is still a thing, just not as a grocery store. They still do their 10K marathon once a year, and they sell their baked goods inside Kroger locations. So I think they'll be just fine. But just for fun, let's talk about what if they never sold the Martins. So for the what if scenario, if Ucrops never sold the Martins, I really see this going one of two ways. I think the first and easiest scenario is that all the arriving competition shuts them down. Just not as fast as it's shutting down Martins. Ucrops is a better brand and has better customer service. Which brings me to the next scenario. And I think this is the most likely scenario. I think Ucrops could have very well survived all the competition. As I stated before, their excellent customer service could really set them apart from all the competition. Although I think that some of the other stores would have closed as a result of the competition. Well, what makes me say this? Well, Food Line is another grocery store chain and they have survived all the incoming competition. I also feel that customer loyalty would play a part in this. If people are treated well and they can purchase the things they really like and need, I don't see them turning their backs on a brand they are most loyal to. So that was my video on Martin's Grocery Stores. I really hope that my friends who still work for them as well as anyone else who works for them are able to find other employment or opportunities elsewhere. And I really had a lot of wonderful memories here, such as eating dinner here with my mom and my sister, as well as buying food for my cooking dojo videos. So, give this video a rating, let me know what you thought. Uh, subscribe if you like what Ray Ray and I do. Um, and comment below if you are from the Richmond area, uh, what are some memories you have of going to Ucrops or Martins? Take care guys and I will see you in the next video. Okay, so this is the Martins that I was actually near my old childhood home. Now this one is actually not 
being bought by Publix. I'm not really sure what they're going to use for this once they're gone. This store, I believe, is going to be gone by June 30th. Um, but yeah, this, like I said, so many childhood memories here. Like, so many people I went to school with, like, this was their first job. So it really is sad to see this go. Like, even though, yeah, New Crops, I think, was a much better product. I, I still did like Martin's Grocery Stores, like, because I, I had friends that worked here. I always tried to support it by going here when I could. So, then we will go ahead and move on. I'm going to show you a store that is being bought by Publix. So here is a Martin's that is being bought out by Publix. Let me zoom in so you can see the sign. Uh, for obvious reasons, because they're doing construction, I can't really get but so close. Um, but my fiance and I actually came in on like their last weekend to open and record it inside. It's very discreetly. I'll post a link to it. It's on our on the podcast dojo Facebook page. But um when I get to the sign, which is over here. No, nope, wrong. <laughs> okay, there you go. So you can see a Publix is being built here. 